Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing tests on this Survival EDC Ultralight Titanium Alcohol Stove that I got on eBay. Basically the short story is it's a knockoff of the ever new titanium stove. Uh, did a couple of tests so far. Did one where I compared them side by side to see which one starts faster. The ever new titanium started much faster. This started up in about 30 seconds, about, and this took a little, about three minutes to get to a bloom. One of the things that I think is the problem is that there's no liner on the inside of this, no fiberglass liner inside this part like there is on this. Also did a boil test with this using the Evernew titanium cross piece stand, just like so. By having the pot on here, I lit it and put the pot on right away and it helped it light a little bit faster but still it took quite a bit of time um, you can check back on the other videos for the boil time and stuff so several people have been telling me I need to do primers with it from some sort either wrap this in cord put alcohol on here and light it or use a carbon felt disc like so put alcohol here put the stove on top of it and light that one I tried was this one, a preheater made out of a 11 ounce can, cut off the bottom, punched a couple of air holes, which I think it turns out I don't need all of these. If I left several, a couple of them out, I could aim this for the wind. Now the, uh, the can, the way it sets originally, is too big for the stove. But what I did was with that uh, notching, that crimping tool, here we go, the crimping tool, <coughs> excuse me, I just hit four crimps on this. This is a handy tool, it really is. I just put four crimps in there like so, hope you can see that. And now when I take the stove and put it on there, the crimps hold it up. This is what this looks like in operation. Here's the stove with the preheater on it. It's just a can with some openings. Inside the can is a tea light, a fairly large one. And within less than 30 seconds, the jet started. And this is what it looks like now. I think this might be good in the winter, but see what happens. So it made for a nice flame, but the uh, tea light really sooted up the bottom of the stove really bad. So I guess that would work probably work good in the winter if you're in the snow or something. Also this is a little bit too tall. I should really cut some of this off. But I don't know about this for working. I mean it works but not good. So several people had suggested using a primer pan. All this is is it's a top off of a can. You know, when you use the side cutter, it makes these handy little pans. Put that on there like so. What I'll do for this test is I'll fill it up again. Not fill it up, but I'll put two fluid ounces of methanol in here. And then I'll take some out and put it in the primer pan so that what I have is still two fluid ounces. So let me get some water prepped, get some alcohol in here, and I'll be back for a test. Okay, my water's to temp. I have two fluid ounces of methanol in here, 60 milliliters. I've taken out about three milliliters. Let me put that in the primer pan. Easier said than done. There we go. Now this thing with primer pans, I don't know, you kinda gotta learn by trying how much you need in there. No idea how much I'll need. So let me light this. I'll light up the inside, light up the primer pan. Oops, looks like the inside went out. Come on. Okay, there we go. Two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this is going to go. Okay, the primer pan's going out now at about a minute. Obviously, that was a little too much liquid, a little too much methanol in the primer pan. 
Okay, primer pan has gone out and now we're just on the jets. So let's see where this goes. Okay, we're now two minutes into the test, although one minute of that was mostly the primer. And the temperature is up to going on 132 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, I don't know how much of that was the uh, primer pan just whooping the heck out of the water, but let's see how long it takes for boil now. Here we have 210, 211, 212 at 450. Okay, so there we have boiling. Let's see how long it takes for run out now. This should be shorter than yesterday because of how that primer was just boiling that alcohol into vapor. So let's see how long it lasts. Okay, there go the jets. All it's burning now is the inside chamber. Still burning. Now you can hear the titanium ticking. Still just a little bit of flame there. Going, going, gone at a 16.26. 16.26. So, obviously that uh, the amount of alcohol that I put in the primer pan was way too much, but that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees using the about three milliliters of methanol in the primer pan, brought the water to a boil in four minutes 50 seconds. On the previous test where I didn't use the primer pan, same temperature up to boiling in 7 minutes 35 seconds. Today then it ran out at 16 minutes 20, 16 minutes 26 seconds and yesterday it was 21 minutes 37 seconds. So putting using the primer pan with some methanol in there did indeed help. You just got to kind of play with it to see how much you need to put in there. Maybe even one fluid ounce or fluid ounce. One milliliter might have been enough. Who knows? Again, it's just something you got to play with. So, for those that suggested the primer pan, I hope this helps. Um, I don't know what to say about this thing yet. I mean, it, if you don't mind it taking so long to get to a boil, it seems to work fine. And as somebody pointed out, it does seem to be very frugal with the uh, alcohol, burning for quite a while. Quite a while. Boy, I can't talk. So I thank you for watching. I thank for the thank you for the suggestions. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.